Hey, so here behind me, you can see the two filters I have built so far in my greenhouse. I have this one over here, which is my swirl filter, and then the one over here, which is kind of a mechanical filter. It has different barriers for solids to settle. So I'll show you, I didn't show in those videos that how they were working. I showed you how I built them, because I posted two different videos, how I built the swirl filter and how I built this mechanical filter. But in this one, I'll show you them working, and then you can see that they're doing their job well. So I'll show you that right now. Okay, here you can see the two filters I've built so far. So it goes from my fish tank, which is right here, first to my swirl, swirl filter. I took the lids off. So you can see, make it out. It's got a lot of gunk down there, so I'll have to clean it out. But you can see that it is working well. So that is pretty cool. You can see the swirl part. Oh, my finger. Swirl part down there. That is how, what makes a swirl, and then the water comes through here. It does have a small swirl. Let me put something in here. I got a piece of duckweed. Where is it? Okay, so you can see it's swirling. So that is how the water is going. So everything swirls, and most of it settles down to the bottom, except the stuff that floats, and then what doesn't settle at the bottom goes through here and into my second filter which is over here and it comes out here okay you can see here the mechanical filtration I have the filters do a good job I'll probably add something else later but you can still see some things floating here and going down so I'll have to add something to improve them but if you make it out you can see there's quite a lot of gunk attached to the multimedia so which is good I haven't cleaned it out yet and it's down there. But you can see the floating stuff. So I'll probably add another filter later to improve upon these two. But they work pretty well. You saw on the first, in the swirl filter, everything at the bottom. You can see that. And then here are the things attached to the, whatever you call that, the mesh. But you can see them both working. So it's pretty cool. Both designs are doing their job. This one, I think this one would work better if I have more of the mesh in here. So you can see some stuff going through there. But yeah. So those are the two filters I have so far. As I said, I plan on adding something else later when I do redesign everything. Because in the back of here, it's kind of hard to drain them so I want to redo plumbing redo the plumbing on this thing I might change this and put two IBC totes to make it more effective but yes you can see the two filters there thank you for watching that video I just showed you the two filters I have working someone did ask about it so you can see my soil filter working as well as my mechanical filter I'll post up here somewhere uh, the link to where I built both of these and then you can see how I did that it's pretty simple to do just using the 55 gallon drums and some PVC as well as some uni seals so in that video I just showed you the two filters I'm working I'm happy with their how they work it could be better with the mechanical filter and I think if I add more mesh it will make it work better so I'll update you on that later on and if I add any more filters I'll update you on that system so thank you for watching if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and tune in next time. Thank you.